Greetings, brothers and sisters. Today I'm here to discuss the entity known as Lucifer. First, let's discuss the origin of the name Lucifer. The meaning of this name means light bringer or light carrier. Lucifer is derived from, and forgive my poor pronunciation here, Lucem Ferre, the root of course being Lux, meaning light, and Ferre meaning to carry. The Greek translation is known as Phosphorus, light bearer, and has been translated as Hesphorus, dawn bringer. In Hebrew, the name has been translated as the shining one. Now, all of these titles, which when translated become shining one, light bearer, and light bringer, are related to the morning star. In ancient traditions, constellations were actually personified as beings, actual deities. Venus has been referred to many by many names. The ancients have called it Inanna, Ishtar, and so on. The Greeks saw Venus rise in the morning, and they called it Phosphorus, and thus the morning star became associated with Lucifer. Now, that's enough on the origin of Lucifer's name, as I could go in depth here, and it would take all day, but I digress. Now, we notice that Lucifer has a planetary association with Venus immediately, right off the bat. However, here's where it gets tricky. Lucifer has had many names, masks, forms, and titles, as Lucifer has appeared in different cultures throughout the world, adapting and evolving with time and alongside the progression of man. Many actually argue on the true and correct planetary association for Lucifer, debating on Venus, the Sun, and so on. Alas, research only gets you so far, and those that have worked extensively with this being know the answer. He has more than one planetary association, and more than one elemental association. Yes, he is connected to Venus. Yes, he is connected to the Sun and has even been connected to Saturn as the dark initiator into the Cliffhorphic Mysteries. Lucifer has been connected to the element air, whilst also being associated with the element of fire, and even shares subtle associations with the others. This goes on. Lucifer is one of those entities that does not like to be bound, nor restricted, to one thing. Let's touch on something here. And that is the dark side of Lucifer. We understand Lucifer as a being of illumination, a light bringer. He is the Promethean fire. Although he most definitely does have a dark side, he has become a devil in his own right. Many have seen that Amaimon, being connected to the dark solar god, Amun, is actually another emanation of Lucifer just like Lucifer's rule for Kale, and many other entities. Amaimon is a demon viewed sometimes as a separate entity. Although he is the hidden black core of the sun, he is that black light which is the unseen, the unseen and the unformed. Whilst the light of the sun has been known and equated to the light of Lucifer. Lucifer has been seen as a glorious dark lord, a devil, a demon, a prince, a king, a dark demon of the infernal region. Many become confused with this and scratch their heads. So is Lucifer the light or is Lucifer the darkness? Here's what you need to understand. I have always said that Lucifer is the perfect coalescence of balance. To many, he's the dark devil lurking in the shadows. To others, he is the enlightening and the illuminating spirit of light, the Promethean fire. He is both. Many have seen him as a feminine being, and others have seen him as a masculine being. He is both. Some have attributed him as angelic and celestial, whilst others view him as demonic and infernal. Guess what? He is both. Lucifer almost seems to be the archetype and a symbol of what godhood should look like. 
a perfect balance of, of the essence of feminine power and masculine power combined. The perfect balance of light and darkness, order and chaos, destructive force and a creative force. The most grandest vision I have ever seen is when he appeared as a godly being of balance. The left side of his soul was darkness and it was masculine while holding a black fiery trident and the other side was female and was made of light emanating the spirit holding in its hand the torch of light, a torch of illumination. The left side of the being had what appeared to be, you know, that draconic type wing, while the right side seemed to almost have your typical angelic feathered wing. Lucifer in totality then is a powerful being. He's the union of the divine and the profane, the light and the darkness, the adversary and a savior. Over 10 years of research and experience with this particular devil, with this particular spirit, led me to this conclusion. I have always stated that Lucifer represents the perfect embodiment of our true potential. The potential to be benevolent and the potential to be malevolent. The potential to be peaceful and the potential to be chaotic. The potential to be the villain and the potential to be a hero. I would like to state one thing right now. I would like to clear up a misconception, if you will. Is Lucifer and Satan the same entity then? From my experience and the experience of many adepts, no. Lucifer is the best embodiment of that balanced union. Satan is quite different. You know, he is the entity of pure chaos, cloaked in furious darkness as a adversary, an adversary to all things, even us sometimes, and does not want to go into balance. Through my experience and experimentation and research, Lucifer and Satan are not the same entity. They are vastly different, actually. Lucifer is a very unique spirit and is great for both the beginners and the adepts of the world. It is the intent and the approach of the magician that dictates the type of Lucifer that will manifest in your life and in your temple. In Lucifer's own words from, to me, pulled from my journal in 2017. I appear to mankind as they need me, be it as a teacher and a guide or as a wrathful destroyer. Think now, which one of my faces do you need? And that, my friend, is the one that you will get. This is why I love Lucifer. This is why I love this entity with a passion. He is an all-rounder type of guy, a type of spirit. There are quite a few entities like this, but not many can hold a candle to Lucifer, in my own experience, that is.